1933, a young man from Budapest, Hungary, decided to come to the United States to see if he could find backing for developing a new communications medium, television. The young man was Dr. Peter Goldmark. By 1940, seven years later, he had developed the first practical color television set, a milestone in the history of communications. Now 70, Dr. Goldmark heads his own successful company, through which he continues to think about man's needs and what can be done to fulfill them. A physicist who likes to develop systems, he searches for missing links in scientific knowledge and concentrates on filling the gaps. Dr. Goldmark looks back on two events, many years apart, each made possible by his work. This picture I have here with somewhat faded colors shows the first uh, operation, or first surgical procedure ever transmitted by color television. Our early color television system was used in the teaching of surgery. And here you see the special camera we designed uh, which looks down onto the operation field. NASA uh, put a satellite around the moon. It was called the Lunar Orbiter, which was the prelude to the Apollo missions. We couldn't have Apollo missions until we mapped the moon. And by mapping, we mean down to feet, several feet accuracy. So a satellite was designed into which we provided a special camera but this was a photographic camera, a very high resolution camera, which looked at the moon. And uh, on board was a developer. The developed film was scanned out with an electronic device and transmitted back to Earth, was received, re-recorded on film, blown up, put together, and this is the result. This appeared on the front page of the New York Times, and it was called the uh, the picture of the century. Asking the right questions is the beginning of new discoveries. An amateur musician, he was annoyed by the sound quality and the interruptions in the playing of a symphony using records that turned at 78 revolutions per minute. Why not a symphony on one record instead of four or five? Dr. Goldmark set out to find an answer and became world renowned as the inventor of the long playing record. Out of his musical interest, Dr. Goldmark improved on a method of practicing one's musical instrument with a recorded accompaniment. He calls his device the music learning system. It consists of a tape machine and pre-recorded music in this case, a piano accompaniment for a clarinetist. Besides being able to listen to a playback of his performance with the piano, the performer can compare his playing with that of an expert. The two clarinets, his own and the recorded one, are played simultaneously. Dr. Goldmark's achievements have come through long hours of concentration, not always in the laboratory. In a laboratory, you, you prove something, you test something, you build some, develop something, but the ideas rarely come in the laboratory. You have to be by yourself, and you have to crystallize that missing link. That's the secret. And focus on it incredible amount of concentration and, uh, in a way, experience and knowledge. Filling a gap in knowledge finding that missing link. This is the creative core of Dr. Peter Goldmark's career, rich in its contributions to science and humanity. Wilson. Here. Arner. 